I'd like to call the meeting to order. The invocation will be by Councilman Kevin Nakan. The pledge will be by Councilman Potan. We, the members of the Lafayette City Parish Council, having been chose to represent the people of this locality, beg of thee, Almighty God, to enlighten our minds so that our work will be just and fair in all things. Give us the courage and strength to fulfill our duties according to the laws of the land, and in so doing, fulfilling also thy holy will on earth and in heaven. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. 300. 300. Okay. All right. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Mr. Durrell. Was, Mr. Terrio, could you give us some examples of some of those and maybe what you would suggest otherwise? In, re you got me on? In reference to which line items you're talking about? The ones you disagree with and uh, you'd like to see different, and maybe I would assume that means you have a, another way of doing it that you might want to suggest. Well, some of those, uh, one we, we talked about was uh, uh, public works was. population which if you subtract out all the municipalities it's actually 3664 instead of including the people in the, un the unincorporated that are in the other municipalities that the city doesn't service so um, anyway this is this is a is a process we're gonna have to look at uh, I always agree that we need to try to be most cost-effective and efficient in what we do always look for better ways to operate and make it more efficiently um, there's just uh, a couple of allocations, a number of them in here that uh, I question, and uh, I think Mr. Durrell's right that uh, the issue about trying to find a medium to a, an agreement here is it's going to be difficult, but yet here we're going to vote on this and it's going to pass regardless, so uh, that puts us in an interesting situation. Well, I think the only reason it's going to pass, regardless, William, is because they're really nobody's come up with a better way of doing it. And um, and I think to answer your question, it wouldn't make sense probably, to, as Laurie pointed out, to change this two or three times over the year. But it would make a lot of sense to continue the conversation. And maybe if you've come up with something or somebody else has come up with something that points out a, a glaring defect in what we've done, of course, it was if it was outrageous then you would probably address it during the year but otherwise you start having the conversation and looking at those uh, tweaks that we can make in time for the budget next year and if you don't mind uh, I would ask that you guys please start keeping the documentation because I'm sure some of the council members are going to be requesting that in order to well you know and the problem with that is is you're in a budget year where we're 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 not filling positions and you're asking people like finance department to do more right. work than they've normally done or the IT department to do things that they don't have the tools to do it with so it's uh, you know we would you know we, we want accuracy is what we want so we will do the best we can with what we have to work with yeah. well that's all I have for now thank you thank you Well, I got to tell you, I don't know if, if y'all were, maybe I was sleeping at the wheel, but um, did they just vote down the allocation schedule? They voted down replacing what was in the proposed budget with the completed one from the consultant. So what, you, what you have just passed is what I sent down, which was an inaccurate allocation and, and much more harmful to the parish side of government because what I sent down was basically a 54-46% split across the board with the expectation of having an allocation company come in here and do an accurate allocation. So, sheesh. I can give you one example. What was proposed for my office was 54-46. That's what you just voted for. What the consultant proposed for my office was 70 was 87 
13. Okay, thank you. Uh, I'd like the author of this amendment to speak to it, please, as to exactly what they intend to do. Definitely. I'll be very brief. I think all non-governmental agencies are very beneficial. However, around a week ago, this council voted unanimously to buy property and fund fire station number 14. And they deemed it as a public necessity. This budget does not reflect any means of staffing this station that this council deemed a public necessity to safety less than a week ago. Therefore, I'm suggesting moving the approximately $1 million for manning fire station number 14 into a reserve account. This is probably not enough money for the entire manning of the station. However, it's a start. Thank you. Would anyone like to speak on this issue? Mr. Drell. I know you have um, you, you've made your position clear and I respect that I have a question about your uh, I think a year or so ago you said that you support certain ones but you feel like in the, in the spirit of consistency you had to cut them all is that pretty accurate that you wouldn't find it's relatively it? accurate well what's the inaccuracy I don't know where you're going with this is the inaccurate thing. No, but that statement was that you felt like you couldn't add pick and choose which ones you would fund so you felt in the in the um, in the spirit of being consistent, you just had to vote against all non-governmental organizations. Is that right? Uh, could be true. Okay. Um, you voted to fund the Milton Water District recently. That's an NGO. What would, would you consider withdrawing that and bring that ordinance back up? Mr. Durrell, that's not what's up right here. What's here is amendment number two. Right. And we can reread it, but that's what we're discussing is that item that's on this agenda. Well, you made the statement I was just trying to ask you because I'm confused. I, I read my statement, sir, on this uh, particular amendment. Thank you. Okay, because well, the um, I would suggest maybe that we put an ordinance out there to defund the Milton Water District as a non-governmental organization. Uh, any councilman can uh, put an ordinance up and they can put their name but on I it, mean, sir. Well, would you consider doing that? Um, I'm addressing amendment number two, and that is not on there, but. If you have anything else you'd like to address with me regarding amendment number two no, I think and I'm those good. those listed on amendment number two i've made my point thank you well, great thank you and please call for the vote district three no district four no district five